everyone, Brett McHare from theartofmanliness.com. All right, in today's video, Carl's gonna show us the ins and outs of the three zone fire. It's an essential skill to have if you wanna make sure your food comes out just perfect. Okay, so you got your charcoal, it's all set, you've dumped it in your grill. Now, one of the mistakes people make, people always tell us, man, my, just, I wait too long, it's too hot, I can't cook on it, it flares up, then I don't know what to do, and they panic. So, uh, we've all been around those people before. Let me tell you, we're gonna teach you right now how to not be one of those guys. So, it's all, the critical thing is to make a three zone fire. So. When you do that, what is a three zone fire? Well, you want three temperature zones. You want a really scorching hot searing zone. So if you're cooking a steak or a burger, you want to get those really good grill marks. You're really, you're just hitting that super jet engine heat on it. And then you have a second zone, which is not quite as hot. That is a little bit less that if you want to just kind of let it calm, calm down a little bit. And then you got an area that has nothing. That if you get into trouble, you get flare ups, you can slide that meat over to that area it's your safety zone just move the meat over don't panic let things calm down a little bit and then you can always move it back so we're going to show you how to get that done so we've got our charcoal you can see mostly white white ash it's all over right now in this pan that we've got it it's all pretty even right now so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this and just move it up to where we have one area that is just this half of the pan is going to be that searing, screaming hot part of the grill. Back here, not quite as much heat, a little bit less. And over here, we're going to have nothing. So this is our safety zone. When we have a problem, we're going to get over there. So now we'll put our grill on top of this. We'll preheat our grill for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready to start grilling. So how do I get a three zone fire on a gas grill? Most of us are cooking with gas. It's easy, it's cheap, it's convenient. You can do the same thing. You can still have that safety zone, that three zone fire. Your grills, your gas burners on your grill is, are either gonna go up front to back or left to right. So on our particular grill, they go left to right. So over here to the right, we have it clearly on high. And again, I tell everybody, if you notice, there's a high, there's a medium, and there's a low. And they got it on there for a reason. We all know the guy who comes and he puts his grill on high and burns your chicken, burns your burger, burns your steak. So you want to have that super hot part of the grill for searing and getting locked in those juices. And then as you progress left or front to back, if you're front to back, you may want to have your high right here in the front. The middle part of the grill would be maybe more of a medium or a low. And then at the back, you may even not even turn it on. For us, we've got our high over here to the right. We're gonna put our medium fire kind of right here. We've got a low, and then this one, we're just gonna turn completely off. And this is our total safe zone. As we go right to left, as we have problems, we have flare ups, we can easily just go right to left, have a three zone fire. You'll never have any problems. And a lot of times after you use that hot part of the grill for that sear, then you're gonna say, hey, I wanna finish cooking it to a medium instead of just a raw. And so you'll move it over here to no flame and let use the grill, close it up and use the grill like an oven and let it cook the rest of the way. You'll still get those great grill marks. You'll still get that great flavor, but you won't burn anything. You'll be a better griller.